Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to continue to explore the equal sign. So let's get the equal sign on our balance scale again. Remember what it looks like with one line on top of another. And this is an equal sign. I'm going to write the word equal. Can you say equal with me? Equal. Do you remember what equal means? That's right. It means the same. Okay, so we used the balance scale yesterday. And we had, we know that if we have 10, it's equal to 10. And our balance is the same. It's equal on both sides. So today, we're going to explore the number 6. Okay? So if I have 6 and I have 1, how many more do I need to make it equal? Let's write this equation. That's right. I need 5 more to make it equal to balance my scale. Now, let's try something different. So, what if I have 6 on the other side? And I have one on this side. How many more will I need? That's right. I need five more. Do we still have six? Yes, we do. Because we know five plus one is six. We also know that even if we put our one on the balance scale first and then added five more, we would still have six. So let's find another way to make six. What if I have two? How many more will I need to make six? That is correct. I need four more to make six. So 2 plus 4 equals 6. So 2 plus 4 is the same as 6. So what if I take these off and I put 6 on this side and I have 2 and 4 on the other side. Is it still the same? Let's write that equation. It is. It is still equal because I have the same amount on one side as the other. They are both equal. Let's do another one. These are so fun with the balance scale.
What if I have three? If I have three, how many more do I need to make six? That's right, I need three more. And that's one of my doubles, where I'm adding two numbers that are the same. Three and three, I know makes six. So, what if I have six on this side of the balance scale? Will it be the same? Yes, it is. So I can also write the equation as 6 is equal to 3 plus 3. So I could see it both ways. Now, what if I have 1 and I have 2? So I added, let's write our equation. I added 2 and 1. But it's not quite 6, is it? I need to add something else to it to make 6. So how many do I have so far? What's 2 and 1? 2 plus 1. That's right, that's 3. So how many more do I need to make 6? That's right. I need 3 more. So I know 2 plus 1 plus 3 more equals 6. And because I knew 3 plus 3 was 6, and I knew 2 plus 1 was 3, that really helped me. So let's do this and make 6 on this other side. Will it still balance out if I put my 2, my 1, and my 3 on this side? Yes, it does. So I also can write my equation that way. Very good. Great job today, boys and girls, exploring the equal sign. Today we learned that the when you see an equal sign in an equation, it means that they are the same. They balance out. We showed that on a balance scale. Also today we learned that equations can look differently. So, they were the same if I had it on one side, the, the sum, the total, on one side, or the other. So 6 equals 1 plus 5 is the same as 5 plus 1 equals 6. Great job today, boys and girls.